Okay, so this playlist is going to be all about you using information to draw a conclusion about your perspective re regarding population growth. In other words, we're going to decide if all of these sources are telling us that population growth is a problem that we need to be freaking out about, or is everything going to be okay? So after you go into each ad puzzle and each Kami assignment, and I want to make sure that you are assured that the ad puzzles are short and they only have one question at the very end. Okay, so yes, I am going to require you to get that question right or to um, contact me and let me know what the correct answer is and why you missed it. Okay, so, okay, so you're going to look at all those sources for the purpose of determining what is your perspective regarding population growth. Now, there's going to be a spectrum of positivity. So, on one end of the spectrum, you are a pessimist, meaning you believe the world is coming to an end. We are ruining the earth and population growth is such a problem that it's just going to end in death and destruction and chaos and pandemic and war. Um, and then on the other end of the spectrum, you are a cornucopian or an optimist and you're like, dude, everything's going to be okay. Like we do not need to worry about this. People are innovators, we've got this, and it's going to be fine. Or you may be somewhere in the middle, and you're going to hear the perspective perspective of Hans Rosling, who's going to take on this position in his little TED Talk. Uh, but if you are in the middle, <clears throat> then you're saying population growth is an issue. And there are things that are happening that are causing it to be a concern. However, there are things we can be doing globally and as countries and as governments and as citizens and as members of civic society to address these issues. So that's the end. That is what, what you're going to do. You're going to identify yourself as a doomsdayer, cornucopian, or possibilist. And then you're going to support that with evidence. Then you're going to find someone in the final discussion who thinks differently from you. They may identify themselves differently. They may be a cornucopian while you are a doomsdayer or vice versa. They may also be a possibilist, but maybe they're a little bit more on the cornucopian side than you are, or they may be leaning to be more of a doomsdayer. So I want you to find someone who has a different perspective from you. And in order to get into kind of what we would refer to as a debate, you're going to use some sentence stems that I've given you that actually take that debate and turn it into a respectful dialogue. So you're going to identify, and we've practiced this, you're going to identify what that person's belief is, why they believe it, and then you're going to say, okay, so I get why you think what you think, and here's what I think. Okay, so really building off of what we did um, in module two. Okay, so that's the end game. Make sure you go through each source. In order is helpful. Um, you can't jump to the end unless you've done each thing. If you need me to reset an ed puzzle, I can do that, or you can just send me a message with your reflection and revision. Again, ed puzzles only have one question. The camis only have four or five claims for you to prove or disprove, but there is nothing in this playlist that is really all that new. So if you have any questions, I'm here for you and I am available and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.